yesterday was the 29 and it was the um, shareholder meeting okay but it was something uh, quite not common you know with other shareholder meetings that you have you know usually at least to what i am used to usually when you have a shareholder meeting you will get uh, um, some credentials okay some ways or fashions or forms from the company in order for you as a shareholder especially if you are not able to attend physically that shareholder meeting okay then you will be able to connect to you know maybe a, an intranet or portal you know or join you know the the meeting via skype or zoom or whatever anyhow anyway in some way shape form or fashion you should be able to attend live live that shareholder meeting but it seems like it wasn't the case for this past shareholder meeting on the 29th well we already knew one of the questions that was mainly to be discussed was already out of the way in terms of you know the shares issuance that was already knocked off so um, um nevertheless i still believe the fact that we didn't have the share count okay the shareholder count which was it's still a big number on which we have no idea and that will also confirm one of the i mean it will give a solid proof to the whole manipulation going on on emc stock but so far i haven't seen anything if you have please drop a comment down below so on the twitter account of adam aaron the ceo he says he said today uh, uh, um Thanks to all of you who voted the washer order meeting yesterday. Your voice has been important and blah, 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 blah. And then so much fun going around in the internet like that uh, uh, our shareholder meeting was closed doors, you know, or secret, simply wrong. It was open to any shareholder and all present were invited to speak on ballot issues and ask questions. All election results have been published publicly. Yeah, but we still don't have any idea on the shareholder count okay and this is precisely what he's mentioning here so um many of you continue to be concerned about the emc share count in early june we announced an all-inclusive share count total of 513 million and some pieces legally issued shares precisely zero new shares have been issued by emc since then well this is not new information but i believe the thing is if we have more shareholders than the actual uh, <laughs> the actual number of shares issued it's a problem okay it's a problem and it will prove that we have a ton of synthetic shares now the other thing is instead of sending it directly to the shareholders okay during that meeting that it was supposed to go they send it to the sec you can check this the, the the form 8k you know on the sec website well I don't know if it's this usual process, but apparently the investor relation uh, uh, um, on, on the, the company website, you know, has, has an email or, or, or kind of, a, you know, a wording already, you know, prepped and saying that this is part of the usual process. But yes, I, I agree. But in, I mean, partly because again, as a shareholder, I should have access to those kind, that kind of inf information without having to get the blessing of the sec first this is the matter of the the company and we are the shareholders we are owning the company so i don't think it should go through the sec for any type of blessing which leads me to think two things first maybe the numbers are way out of whack they are way out of proportion and actually will lead to a solid proof of synthetic shares and naked shares being in circulation which we already know and second thing something might be brewing and uh they don't want us to know they don't want to be transparent on that maybe because there are some edi some other implications i mean i'm just saying in just my opinion guys just my speculation but usually a shareholder account or you know a shareholder meeting usually doesn't go like that and um it raises some questions